What happens when the U.S. unleashes a stealth drone so advanced that enemies go silent before it even fires a shot? The world expected America's next great leap in air power to arrive as a gleaming new fighter jet, something to rival the F-35 or a sixth-generation Phantom. The myth was that the next leap in air power would be another piloted superjet. The truth was far more radical, but when the curtain finally lifted, the reveal wasn't a manned aircraft at all. It was something far more unsettling. The Pentagon had quietly been nurturing a shadow in the sky. The XQ-58 Valkyrie, an unmanned combat drone with the sleek profile of a predator and the autonomy of artificial intelligence, it doesn't just fly beside pilots, it threatens to replace them entirely. What makes it terrifying isn't just its design, it's what it represents. The Valkyrie doesn't follow the rules of traditional warfare. It can slip off radar like a ghost, operate with or without a human hand on the stick, and multiply into swarms that choke enemy defenses before a countermeasure can even be launched. And now, it's no longer a prototype, it's been deployed. Not in a test range, not in a classified hangar, but in the skies where rivals are forced to confront it. The result? Silence. Adversaries are already going dark, radars flickering off, chatter reduced to whispers, strategists rewriting their playbooks overnight. Because how do you fight something you can't even see? How do you defend against a weapon that doesn't just attack, it rewrites the very balance of the battlefield? This is the moment when air combat changed forever. The future has arrived, and it looks like a Valkyrie. A new chapter in air power. For nearly a century, American dominance in the skies has rested on the shoulders of pilots, highly trained men and women strapped into the cockpits of the F-15 Eagle, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the stealthy F-22 Raptor, and the cutting-edge F-35 Lightning II. These aircraft didn't just fly, they symbolized power, deterrence, and supremacy. But war evolves, and so do the threats. The skies that once belonged to U.S. pilots have grown more dangerous. Today's adversaries are armed with long-range surface-to-air missiles that can reach out for hundreds of miles. Their radar networks overlap like spider webs, denying safe passage. Electronic warfare scrambles communications. Every sortie into contested territory becomes less a mission and more a gamble with human lives. That gamble is exactly what the Valkyrie was designed to eliminate. This is not just another jet. This is not just another platform. This is a paradigm shift. At less than half the cost of an F-35, and in some configurations, as little as $3 million per drone, the Valkyrie is both expendable and revolutionary. Built to operate without a pilot, designed with stealth baked into its frame, it represents a fundamental change from aircraft to air systems. Instead of risking a $100 million fighter jet and the life of a highly trained pilot, the Air Force can unleash an entire pack of Valkyries, 10 drones for the cost of one fighter, 10 sets of eyes, 10 vectors of attack, 10 autonomous machines flying as one, stealthy, coordinated, and deadly. It's not just a replacement, it's multiplication, and that's what terrifies America's rivals. The Valkyrie's origins, from concept to reality. Every great weapon in history has a moment of birth, a spark when it shifts from imagination to iron and fire. For the XQ-58 Valkyrie, that moment wasn't forged in the bureaucratic crawl of trillion-dollar Pentagon programs. It didn't take 20 years, three budget overruns, and endless committee debates. But what if the Pentagon had a different story in mind all along, one that breaks all the rules? The Valkyrie was born in the shadows of urgency, under the Air Force Research Lab's bold initiative, low-cost attritable aircraft technology, LCAAT. The mission was simple, almost audacious. Create a stealth drone that was so affordable, the U.S. could lose it in combat without losing sleep, yet so advanced that it could turn the tide of a war. Traditional aircraft, such as the F-22 Raptor or F-35 Lightning II, are masterpieces of engineering. But they come with price tags that make generals sweat, and timelines that stretch into decades. By the time one jet is fully fielded, the battlefield it was built for may already have changed. From drawing board to maiden flight in just three years, the Valkyrie shattered the mold. Lean, modular, and built for adaptability, it isn't just an aircraft, it's an idea in motion. A machine that says, air power doesn't have to be slow, bloated, and costly. It was born fast and cheap, but could something so affordable truly be lethal? Stealth on a budget. At first glance,
the Valkyrie doesn't scream threat. It's smaller than a fighter jet, sleeker, with a price tag that seems almost laughable by Pentagon standards. Everyone assumed a drone this advanced would cost a fortune. But here's the part no one expected. It costs just three to five million dollars per drone. That's less than the cost of a single Patriot missile battery. For comparison, an F-35 will set you back over $100 million. But here's the catch. Cheap doesn't mean weak. The Valkyrie is stealth by design. Its angular fuselage bends radar waves away. Its internal weapons bay hides missiles from prying eyes. Its low-profile engines dampen heat signatures. While it may not rival the radar-ghosting abilities of the F-22 Raptor, it doesn't need to because the Valkyrie doesn't fly alone. Imagine 10 Valkyries screaming toward an enemy defense grid at once. On radar screens, a storm of signatures erupts. Which one is carrying deadly air-to-air -air missiles? Which one is jamming radar with electronic warfare pods? Which one is relaying target data back to US F-35s flying safely beyond missile range? The enemy doesn't know. They can't know. By the time they lock onto one drone, Nine more are already inside the kill box. This is the brilliance of the Valkyrie. It's not just stealthy, it's overwhelming. Numbers become the weapon. Confusion becomes the shield. Loyal wingmen, the Valkyrie and the F-35. In modern warfare, survival isn't just about having the best aircraft. It's about having a system that overwhelms the enemy with options. That's where the Valkyrie doesn't just fit in. It transforms the entire equation. Instead of being a lone wolf, this drone is a loyal wingman, an extension of America's most advanced fighters like the F-35. Picture this. An F-35 pilot slips into hostile airspace, knowing he's not alone. On his wing, four, six, or even eight Valkyries fly silently, each one programmed with its own specialized role. One carries long-range missiles, essentially turning the Valkyrie into a flying arsenal. Another extends the radar horizon, feeding back streams of intelligence in real time. A third unleashes jamming waves, scrambling enemy sensors into confusion. And a fourth? It's a decoy, designed to draw fire and trick the adversary into revealing their positions. Suddenly, one jet is no longer one, it's many. The F-35 has transformed from a single spear into an entire spearhead, cutting through defenses with overwhelming coordination. What makes it terrifying is this. The enemy never knows which Valkyrie is expendable which one carries the payload, and which one is simply a ghost in the sky. By the time they figure it out, the missiles are already on their way. The XQ-58 Valkyrie isn't just another drone, it's a declaration. For decades, air power meant putting pilots at risk in billion-dollar jets, with wars hinging on the survival of a few. But the Valkyrie changes everything. It's lean, it's modular, it's expendable, and it's rewriting the rulebook of combat. Think about what this really means. Wars no longer need to be fought jet against jet, ace against ace. Instead, commanders can send in swarms of stealth drones that confuse radars, overwhelm defenses, and strike with precision, all while keeping pilots safe miles away. In the skies of tomorrow, victory won't just come from skill or bravery. It will come from who can command the swarm. And yet, with every breakthrough comes a shadow. If America can unleash this kind of power, how long before adversaries build swarms of their own? What happens when drone fights drone, with no humans in the cockpit at all? Does this make war safer, or does it make it spiral out of control even faster? The Valkyrie is more than a weapon. It's a warning. The era of robotic wingmen has begun, and the world's balance of power may never be the same. So here's the question. Is this the dawn of a safer age of precision and protection? or the beginning of battles where machines fight machines and humans watch from the ground. If you want to keep exploring the front lines of tomorrow's military technology, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, because the Valkyrie is only the first shadow on the horizon.